We're back. This episode, we travel to Alice Springs in Northern Territory and hike Mount Gillen with our mate Gary. Then we check out an iconic Outback pub and finish the day with a swim in some beautiful hot springs. We're climbing Mount Gillen with Gaza. Gaza and Katie. Yeah. I'm winning. Gary's row fit. Yeah, it's so nice up here. You can see the scenery behind me. It's quite hard. We tried to do it before uh, sunrise, but that didn't really happen. We got up at like 5.30. <sighs> Just kind of had a coffee and chill for a bit, but oh, look at this place. Yeah, it it's actually sacred land, and they're going to stop people walking up here. So it's kind of nice to be able to still do it while it's open. Um, uh, you can probably maybe just see this a road. Well, there's a white bit of town over there, Alice Springs, and then there's a road that kind of goes all the way through, and somewhere down there. Um, is where our car's parked. So we walked all the way up here. It hasn't actually taken that long. It's probably been walking for like 30 minutes so far. I'm nearly at the top, probably like another 20 minutes. It's very steep, but very nice. They've got rock wallabies that blend into the landscape really well. It's such a beautiful spot. Mount Gillen, amazing. Yesterday we went all four driving through those hills up there and there was some really steep mountains and stuff. Uh, Gary was giving me a few tips on forward driving. It was cool. But we're doing this, we're going back down, we'll have some breakfast, and then we're going to pack the car and get on the road, head towards Catherine. Um, we're going to stay with my uncle for a night or two, and it's Katie's birthday. So we're going to stop between here and Catherine for one night um, at a campground on the highway, and then then we'll head up to Catherine. So looking forward to that. And some, literally couldn't be better weather. Oh, God damn. How good is this spot?
told me an incredible fact that millions of years ago this was all underwater and that is fairly blowing my mind. Yeah. Tell us more Gary. Um dingoes, huh? <laughs> they can't bark. <laughs> really? Yeah, they can only howl. Do you get dingoes in? Yeah. <laughs> but they can't bark like a dog. So if you hear it barking, that's a wild dog. If you hear howling, that's the dingo. Planes from being um, landed, what's the word? Grounded from COVID. Storage. So it's what Qantas and Singapore Airlines. Yeah, everyone. Everyone? It's the cheapest thing. Drives and Summer is a warm place. This is um, called Devil's Marbles, and it's a sacred site. You can't film half of it, but what I have filmed, you're allowed to. And yeah, it's like a natural phenomenon of eroding rocks, and they've left these structures that look like marbles. It's pretty cool. So that bit's culturally sensitive for this bit. It's very very unique landscape because there's nothing else and all of a sudden you just have these red rocks which are no idea what type of rock it is. Oops. Uh, yeah. Just this area. It's quite cool. It's these brown rocks are brown. They're kind of balancing. They're falling over. Over the other side of the part that I can't film. Um, there are crush you. Yeah, just on the way, thought we'd stretch our legs. But it's hot and there's heaps of flies. It's a very cool landscape. Very, very unique. Uh, there's people camping here in the car park, which we're not 100% sure why, because it's boiling hot. And it's not really that late. It's like three o'clock. But yeah, odd place to choose to camp at this time of year when it's just hot. We're going to keep pushing on. We're about to 100 k's out of Tennant Creek and then we're going to a campground called Baka Baka. Baka Baka. Baka Baka. Baka Baka. Uh, it's a family owned like service, uh, roadhouse service station with a campground. And there's camels there. Ew. So we're looking forward to seeing camels.
guys, we're at Elsie National Park, coming to Mataranga Hot Springs. We tried to go to um, Bitter Hot Springs down the road by about 10 minutes, but uh, due to the recent floods, they're closed because the river rises up and crocodiles come in. So um, we're coming to apparently the second choice of the two springs, but it looks insanely nice. Look at this. Such an incredible landscape for considering the fact we've been in the desert for the last several hours or few days. Yeah, this is looks cool as. So it's Katie's birthday. We're good, streaky! Yeah! Uh, what do you do when it's about 40 degrees and 90% humidity? come to hot springs and drink champagne <laughs> which is what we're about to do it looks like it's actually been set on fire everything's really black but I mean clearly not there's lots of dead palm fronds on the ground which looks like a bit of a fire risk but... wow hey this is so cool an epic spot so I'm packed like a European tourist because I've got the drone and stuff that I don't want stolen if someone breaks into the car but yeah let's check out these springs and jump in and get even sweatier No one really here. There's a couple of cars in the car parks, but looks like there's three things to choose from. Stevie's hole sounds a bit precarious. I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> We're gonna check out the thermal pool. With, um, apparently, there's freshwater crocodiles pretty commonly in these, which will only really bug you if you bug them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at this. This is so pretty. Oof, check this out. 